Persona 3. The story is heating up. Last stream that we did of Persona 3, there was uh, this robot girl that we met, which is which is hot. Her name was uh, I guess. We were also introduced to this little kid called Ken, who's going to be staying with us, who is uh, obviously going to become or probably already is a Persona user or something. So that kid's going to be joining us. Uh, yeah, we just got back from... Oh, there's there's the robot lady, I guess. Greetings. So she's she's cool. She's going to be hanging out with us. You see. Is there something you'd like to know about Igus? Yeah, so we can find out a bit about that. Uh, is there something you'd like to know about Igus? Where are the other robots? I assume you're refer referring to the other anti-shadow yes. weapons. Well, there were quite a few created. You could say they were Igus's siblings. However, they were all destroyed 10 years ago in the incident. I guess has been quite lonely since then. Oh, somebody also said that that story isn't actually Persona 1. I don't... It feels like it is, though, because that happened 10 years ago. A Persona is a product of the human psyche, so the plan had been to place a human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was the form that weapon would take. If we had used a tank, for instance, the weapon's mind would recognize itself as such, and a contradiction would arise, as we all know a tank is not a living entity. Speak for yourself. A human mind trying to reconcile its existence in this way would break down before you could blink. So, how do we prevent that contradiction? You see where I'm going with this, don't you? You create a body that... Sure. When given a body that more closely resembles the expectation of the mind, the spirit stabilizes. This, that is why Igus and her siblings were built in the form of human beings who can, you know, shoot you see. bullets out of their fingertips. How come she knows me? Mm. I couldn't say. Perhaps it's a bug in her facial recognition programming. I'm sure it's nothing to concern yourself with. You're not worrying over much, are you? What does that mean, though? So if she's... If she's like they took somebody else's brain and put it in her? <laughs> Everyone seems worn out. You must be exhausted, too. Let's not go to Tartarus tonight and just reset instead. An anti-shadow weapon. That will be a most welcome addition. Most souvenirs are useless. Snow globes, keychains, postcards. However, this souvenir from Yakushima is très bien. A lot of people are joining the team. Big difference from a while back. Yeah, so I think we're going to have... I guess I guess is going to fight with us because she said she can use a persona. She looks like a normal girl, as long as she doesn't do anything too weird. But if she does, do you think anyone will figure out that she's actually a robot? Well, maybe not. Most people probably aren't on the lookout for undercover robots. Uh, speak for yourself. I actually am. She's super cute, huh? She's super cute, but made out of steel. It's new territory for me. Honestly, I don't know how to approach this. Très bien equals very good. I know, like, a little bit of French. That's pretty much it. All right, so those are the personas that I have. Oh, she's in our team right now. Oh. Caladion is her persona. What's her theurgy? After using physical skills, her drive to complete her mission intensifies. Or, or, orgia mode? Heavy pierce damage to all foes, ignoring resistances, ignores orders for a time. Ooh. I have stick, you have hole. <laughs> a steel hole. That's gross. You're gross. After using, so all of her, are her attacks gonna end up? Ah, uh, oh, she's, oh, that's, oh, I love hers. Oh, I love her persona. A guardian statue in ancient Greece stolen from Troy that protected the city in which it was enshrined. It is said that Athena was so saddened by the death of, death of her friend Pallas that she had the wooden statue made in her image. Oh, that is dope. Oh, I like how it, like, opens up, too. I wonder if that's supposed to be, like, a... Hmm. Oh, I love it. I love it. Told you it was platonic. Trying to think how that story might relate to her. So she has arrow rain, which is really good. De deals weak pierce damage to all foes. 
Swift Strike deals damage to all foes. She has a lot of buffs she can use. Nullify stat debuffs for all allies. Damn! And then Cruel Attack deals medium pierce damage to one foe, more damage to downed foe. Weak to electric, that makes sense. She's a robot. Uh, cool. So she's on our team? Hell yeah, dude. A three finger firing mechanism that you just, oh, uh, nice, three fingers, huh? Don't be gross. Armor for Igus, fit to cover a mechanical body. Made with pure iron, red ribbon, large crimson ribbon, adds flair and color to the collar. Uh, we'll definitely give her something else. I feel like she wants HP. Lowers the odds of sustaining critical hits. Uh, boost good fortune. I think we give her boost physical strength. I think we just give her that for now. It's only strength plus one, but... Oh, and then she has... The attire Igus wears when infiltrating Tartarus. It's Igus. Rebellious attire. What is Musketeer? Does she put it on now? I don't think so. All right. I, I want to see what those look like. Uh, oh, shit. We have to do something, though. I don't know if my veggies are ready. All right. 31st. Oh, there's not much I can do, though. Um, I can eat. Maybe check Elizabeth. Hi, love. I think Elizabeth might be my uh, my biggest crush in the game so far. Nah, it's Mitsuru. Who am I kidding? Very well. Level twenty nine. I think I've. I don't know if I've fused everything that I could at this point. Oops. Oh, have we gotten... Oh, and the other thing we unlocked was the antique shop, which is like a synthesizing shop. And uh, this place, which we can change our allies' persona skills. So that's new. The antique... the It's basically like a synthesizing shop. So I could do... What would you like? I could make new stuff here. So Birdo... She's hot, right? My academics? I think that's up to four. Okay, no weapon for I guess here. Everything I craft is sure to be useful against the shadow. I think I want to wait to be able to get uh black quartz for Yeah, I need one more black quartz for my main here. What will it be? My main character. Said to have slayed ancient foes. Uh, I haven't used her in combat or anything. We we basically just got her. She's dope though so far. Go on, look around. I don't think I'm gonna worry about any of this stuff yet. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. This is do I love that we can do it. Like this is awesome. I kind of want to see. It's I don't think Thursday. I don't think they do the thing. Don't want to spoil it. This looks. Really, this is a, the day after we got back back from the beach. Yeah. So the last thing that happened was the beach trip, where uh, there's a, a story is starting to heat up for sure. But that's where we met. Um, offering you a seafood. Okay. So they do have a seafood full course. I don't think I need to worry about academics right now because we just did finals. And I think that's probably fine. So I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm just gonna do that. Beach, yeah, the beach stuff was was uh, was a little a little uncomfortable, but it was good. Like it's, yeah, it's kind of how I'd expect like teenage boys to be. If anything, maybe a little, they were like a little bit more mature than you would think. Damn, I was hoping that would upgrade it. That's all right. I was hoping I could get charm maxed out and not have to worry about it anymore, but. But yeah, so that was the story that happened. And they found out 
about um so they introduced there's this kid ken who was introduced way earlier but like not really and then this one seems like it's there's something that's about to happen i think ken's might join us so it just feels kind of like if we just got i guess and then ken this little kid joins us i don't know we'll see but i request that you wake up okay i guess ah you have successfully awakened mission complete i love her M my alarm clock <laughs> what do we say uh my alarm clock it has not triggered yet five minutes early is on time that is the phrase posted on the wall so i woke you five minutes before your alarm clock engages that's actually hey are you awake that girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere can you help us she's in my room yukari She's in my room. She's we were cuddling. My name is not that girl. Please address me as I guess. This is gonna start some drama, dude. Huh? <laughs> I guess? When did you I entered while he was asleep. Unlocking the door took two minutes. Unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I determined that it is ideal to be on standby in this room. Is this a problem? What? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, I will address it promptly. I want to know why she is There's so... Well, it's probably against dorm regulations for one. Like wanting to protect Makoto. Uh, you, you can stay here. It's fine. Oh, come on. You know she's not allowed in here. Is Yukari going to get mad? Am I ruining okay, my relationship with Yukari? I'll get a room set up for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Just don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Yeah, okay. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, well... I have practice this morning, so I gotta get to school. Everyone here goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. Is she gonna show up at school now? Mm. It's so freaking hot today, too, so I've been thinking. After we defeat all the shadows and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? Uh, things will be peaceful. Well, yeah, but, well, regular people don't even know about the dark hour to begin with, right? That means no one will ever know about anything we've done. I mean, I get it'd be a huge problem if they did, but it just kind of sucks, you know? Junpei, we'll know, bud. We'll know how much you've sacrificed for us. Hey, the exam result. Oh, right, we haven't seen those. I scored the highest in my grade. Yo, get fucked. Aced an exam, top of the class. Let's go, dude. Everyone is looking at me with respect. Does that increase my charm? Yeah! I got max charm! Come to think of it, Mitsuru promised to give me a gift if I scored well. I should talk to Mitsuru when I see her. Lunch time's almost over. Should get back to class. Do it, I'm so good. Prod prodigy alert. I love trophies, dude. We got Fuka, Kenji, Ogiri. Seems like the average score went down this time. I guess that's good for me, though. But honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I think I could have scored about 20 points higher. I'll have to study harder during vacation. Oh, no Junpei, huh? Dude, I was trying to pick up some chicks the other day at the station. Didn't go as planned. It's hard when a girl has her guard up, huh? Maybe a more honest approach would work better. Yeah, dude. I guess I did okay again, but I better do some studying over summer vacation. Summer sucks, man. I sweat so much, my shirt gets drenched. Ew. Hmm. There's Fuka. We could talk to Fuka. We could do... Hmm. 
What's up, Harry? Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Persona 3 is so good. I really love the the uh, routine of the game, I guess. I'm going to do... Let's do Ice Boost. Story sweet. Heating up. That's hot. Hi, Swan. Good to see you. That's hot. It is. It's it's great. Yeah, I think we're gonna be meeting new people. Like, I think I think we're gonna have a full different team. Hope this opens me. Oh, for sure. I'm definitely gonna play the other personas. For sure. For sure. For sure. I don't know when. Like, I'm pro I'm not gonna jump into Persona Four, obviously, right after this, but. Some someday, because this one's been really good. I really hope that they do a like a more an accessible, updated version of Persona One and Two, because I would love to play those before I get too deep into the franchise. Some yeah, some decade. I'm guessing Mitsuru. I don't know where she would be though. I think she's downstairs sometimes. I don't see her. I could probably just talk to her in the dorm. Oh, you're not a social link today. We don't have any club activities, so what brings you here? Whenever I look around the school, I always see a few students who look unwell. Hopefully, they're just lacking sleep. There's a chance they could actually be sick. <laughs> Didn't mean to get carried away. Just keep an eye on your health. That kid is so annoying. There's so much quality of life. Playing the older ones isn't that enjoyable. That's why I wanted to start with Reload. Uh, because I've heard that, like, five quality of life stuff is really, really good. But I feel like I won't. I feel like four's fine. If you like turn-based games, these games are wildly good. This will be called the pretend like I was just walking and when Kurijo Senpai comes out, I'll get close to her strategy. That's my plan, but I'm all nervous now. Okay. Uh, let me see if I have... All right, I need to get a priestess. I do... Okay, before we talk to Fuka, I'm going to go get a priestess. Um, I need a priestess persona. So that I can get increased reward things. I just saw, saw someone say it's okay if I won't, can't get something in a game. I must rage now. Who the hell would say that? I'm looking... How may I assist you? That person is like... They have no understanding of what it means to even like video games. You know what I mean? Are you in this is your A mad person, if you ask me. Four is great. One of the better stories. Well. I need to... Uh... We look for I mean, so far, I guess the, I, the story hasn't really... I don't really know what the story is yet for this game. Like, I do and I don't. I'm intrigued enough to keep going with it to see where it's going, but they haven't really given us... They've started to, for sure. Oops, that's not the one button I meant. Like, that's a really nice quality of life thing, you know? All right, let's talk to Fuka. Is it a monster collector? Uh, kind of? Kind of. You fight with personas, which are... Uh, like, they're all mythology-based, um, which is really, really cool to me as somebody that, like, has literally taken mythology college courses. I just love seeing, like, their different interpretations of it. Um, and then you, you get new ones, but it's not like you, like, throw a Pokeball out and capture it, right? It's, like, a little more, a little less, uh, monster capture-y than that. It's a lot more about the the monster fusion system, the persona fusion thing than anything else. Uh, if you've ever played Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which I'm guessing you haven't, Digimon Cyber Sleuth 
copied a lot <laughs> from from this. We made it to the end. Hopefully that relieves some stress at school for a while. Oh, by the way, if you're leaving now, would you like to go shopping? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, most people haven't. I wish I could for so long. stream or do YouTube stuff for all of the Digimon games because they're so good and I love them. But they're not so good. <laughs> I wanted to buy something to use as a secret ingredient in my cooking. I don't know if that's a good idea from Fuka. I couldn't really decide, and I wasn't sure how to use whatever I'd buy. Found out lately that there's no BG4 happening. Not from, yeah, not from Larian. Done with meetings, Vassal's grants. Start with the basics first. Yes, you're right. I haven't even gotten the basics down yet. I'm getting way too ahead of myself. First thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make. I'm still having a lot of trouble getting things right, but I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. She's so... And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. You're a hard, you're a you're a hard worker, Fuka. No, that's not true at all. I mean, everyone in our group works hard, and beyond that, I think you all have something that you're good at. Not me. I mean, I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it. Yeah, Larian is. They said they're not doing anything in the Dra Dungeons and Dragons universe again. That like they're glad they got to do this, but they're gonna leave it to Wizards of the Coast or something uh, going forward. And Larian is working on. They're working on something else, which is cool. Because like Divinity Original Sin, those games are also like considered to be masterpieces. So. Disappointed you don't get to hit level 20 in their style. I mean, they'll probably release something that's just in its own. Like, they're obviously masters at the classic RPGs thing. Trip a trip, trip, trip a brown cow. Guess I'm sort of good with machines. It's honestly not worth mentioning. Really, I just happen to like them. It's not exactly something worth posting about. When I was little, I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound on one side. I've always loved watching him work on those things. That's probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. I used to take apart like old, like electronic stuff. I used to take it apart so that I could figure out how to put it back together. Uh, and then ran into the problem of I had no idea how to put it back together. I don't know if anybody else ever did that, but I thought it was fun to take it apart and try. And then I would I would start trying to put it back together and didn't know how. Your brother used to do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like old PlayStations, I would like take apart to see how they work and then couldn't put them back together. So I was like, well, there goes that. be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirito group support. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. Oh, girl, don't, don't, you don't worry about gender roles. We good? We good? It's 2024. Well, okay, it's 2009 for you, but That's not true. Later. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? I wonder why it's so easy talking to you. Probably because I'm like a silent protagonist. So negative all the time. Actually, I might owe a lot to you in that sense. I think Fuka trusts me now. Seems we've grown closer. Yeah, rank four. Let's go. The vacuum cleaner got the works. I take apart my vacuum cleaners, but oh, it's getting late. nowadays we have Google. I didn't mean to talk so much. Let's go home. Okay. Nowadays I have Google, so I can I can look up how to put it back together. But I take my vacuum apart pretty often to clean it. 
Welcome back. Greetings. By the way, how'd you fare on your exams? Uh, not too shabby. I got first in the class, baby. That reminds me, Kurijo Senpai was top of her class again. Oh, right, we're in different class. I was like, no, she wasn't. I was. Where does she find the time? She's unreal. In two weeks, the moon will be full again. Dude, those freaks with apathy syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, I mean the lost. I mean, I feel bad for the victims at all, but seriously, it's like there's no end to them. Technically speaking, there is an end to them. Six shadows remain. If we can eliminate them, the dark hour will vanish. Yeah, that's true. So what you're trying to say, I guess, is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I agree 100%. Dude, Junpei is just looking for a reason. Oh! It's been a while since I told you I'd return the favor. It's about time for me to pay up. So meet me in front of a watch die station. Are you leveling your Pokemon with friendship power? Kinda, yeah. I have a question. When you attend your institution of schooling, what kind of emotions do you feel? Uh, it's boring. Regarding that. Is that true? From analyzing your facial expression, categorizing school as boring is inaccurate. Huh? Exam scores? Dude, I don't care about that. Defeating shadows is more important than getting good grades. Any time spent studying could be used to go to Tartarus and... Don't get carried away, Iori. You should still study. You can learn from defeat. That's something that goes for her battles against shadows as well. I love her. It's super anime and I love it. Which reminds me, I just finished season six of My Hero Academia. I'm caught up now. Holy fork balls, dude. Kurijo Senpai is incredible. She scored so well on her exams, even though so much has been happening. She can filter out all distractions and focus on the task at hand. I wish I could do that. Dude, that show is so good. You saw that the exam results were posted today, right? It's great if you did well, but even if you didn't try, I did fine. With everything that's been going on, I'm sure you did the best you could. Oh. I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. It's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our uh, extracurricular activities. Oh, shit. Since I placed at the top in the exams, I also got this Mega Master Band. Mega Master Band. All stats plus three. Yo. Yeah, that sounds good. And then I'll give Igis the Mega Power Band. Must be difficult for you to come uh, balance combat and school. Perhaps summer school would be beneficial. Oh, are they gonna make us go to? Now you're a mega master bander. What did she say? Well, let's wait and see how the others did. All right, so I think we're gonna go talk to Akihiko then. I don't have anything else I can do. Has anybody here watched uh, My Hero, by the way? Like, caught up wise? This guy's still complaining about that. The Gothic Lolita. Yeah. Well, I know you have. Dude, it's so good. Like, I was already super into the show, and then season six was so good that I was like, ah, uh, the heck? I kind of wish the second arc was longer. Oh, Mistledyne. Today's the day I finally return the favor. Are you free? Should I spend the evening with Sonata? Yeah, for sure. All right, then let's go. All right. This time let's have a nice meal as we talk about our future battles. So apparently these are called linked episodes and these are new to Persona 3 Reload. Like these weren't in the original game. Go. It's fine. Don't worry about it. First things first. Let's get some food. Psionic has a thing for Akihiko now. Should we call somebody? There you are, Akihiko Sonata. These guys? Oh, you're the guys from before. Turns out you're pretty famous, huh? An up and coming boxer, that it? 
So these guys were harassing these girls on the street. And then Akihiko was like, yo, why don't you stop? And they were like, yo, you want to brawl? And Akihiko was like, all right, let's fucking go. We got to go to a place, though, where there's not so many people around so I can knock the shit out of you. And then a cop came and was like, stop it. And Akihiko was like, darn. Uh, so now so there's more to it. Apparently they're back. Time to pick up where we left off. Show me what you got. Kicking your ass is gonna do wonders for our rep. No way we're gonna pass this up. Yeah, Bernard, look at our numbers. You ain't got a chance. Huh. Uh, take him one on one. I think I think he could take all seven of them. Boxes are tough, ain't they? What? You can't handle a challenge? You're welcome to join him, though, Pipsqueak. See, we're reasonable, right? <laughs> I just I just imagine like we start using our personas on them. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, let me cast a fire on you. You're on chapter seven in Rebirth, Grads, Games and Movies. Halfway. You said beating me would do wonders for your rep. I thought this was about testing each other's strength. You idiot. I'm just gonna have fun kicking your ass because you're full of yourself. And who the hell cares about any of that as long as you win? Isn't that how you roll too? <laughs> Looks like a fight is gonna break out. I have to do something. So, you wanna go first or what? Get back. Look out! It's a fire! You shitting me? Get back here! <laughs> Nobody runs away from us. You keep getting tipped. You should. They're very good. Running away is easy enough. It's losing them that's the hard part. Still, made for a good workout, right? That was some quick thinking, by the way. Just what I'd expect from our leader. All I did was yell fire and run away. That was close. I don't exactly like turning my back to an opponent. It doesn't oh, no. matter in the end if I can't protect the ones beside me. And being outnumbered increases our risk of injury or damaging our surroundings. What I mean is, you made the right call. I owe you one. Hmm? It's addressed to me. Trip of brown cow? Uh, no, that's okay. It contains fruits, snacks, and beverages. Looks like it's from my parents. I'll take it to my room later. Your parents? Yeah. My foster parents uh. have adopted me. I haven't kept in touch lately since I'm so busy. But it sounds like they're doing well. I appreciate how much they care. So everyone is a little too generous. It sounds like some of it off my hands. Everyone maybe has at least one dead parent. Except maybe Fuka, I'm not sure. And again. You'll hardly make a dent in this either. Uh, let's call the others. Good idea. Would you mind gathering everyone up? Oh, hi. Very intriguing. Everything is such high quality. I can tell just by looking. Your parents must really care about you. <laughs> At least you know how to behave in front of your parents, Akihiko. Don't you ever have anything nice to say about me? What does that even mean? I obviously haven't told them about what we do here, though. Well, <laughs> when it comes to being considerate of others, you're a heavyweight. Glad to have you in our corner, senpai. There he goes again. He sure looked good, though. Thanks for sharing, Sonata-senpai. Take whatever you want. What is Igus hey, gonna eat? Really good. What's that? Well, going for that one, huh? You get that. You have my thanks. Oh, I love that. That took care of most of it. I'm surprised they were so happy. Hmm. I've really got to show my gratitude to my parents and to everyone here. Well, all this talk about my parents reminded me of some things from the past, like why I'm here right now. I guess I feel like I remember my reason for fighting. <laughs> I don't really get it. No, I'm glad to hear it. Don't mind me. Let's just say I've got a lot of room to grow. The dorm's gotten so much busier. 
the orphanage used to be something like this too. We all lived under the same roof, just having casual conversation. I had forgotten what it was like, but it wasn't so bad. Final Fan it just the game turns into Final Fantasy VIII. Let's do it again sometime. Akihiko! Tell that to my parents. I really gotta repay you in particular though. Or we'll never be squared away. Alright, it's pretty late now. I guess we should clean up and call it a night. What else is in the box? Looks like a gold medal that's made of cardboard. What? Is there something there? This is... Is it also a gift? No, this is mine. You won't understand what it means, but it's from a long time ago. Do you mind if I ask you something? You take on the role of our leader, and you're stronger than anyone else in your own right. That's more than just being talented. Where do you get that strength from? Uh, bonds. Like, literally. Oh, I see. You mean you feel motivated because you have people in your corner? Bonds with others, huh? That might be something I'm missing. How do you figure? Well, whatever it is. You've clearly got something that I don't. But being jealous or trying to copy you isn't going to help me. That strength is yours alone. I'm going to get stronger. But I'll do it my way. I love that our multiple personality thing going on makes us more powerful. I'm so busy that I missed out on my chance to thank you again. Hopefully the food was enough for today. I'll invite you out again some other time. Oh, sweet. Lux Tropical Fruit, Imperial Sweet Set, Fresh Juice. I didn't know that those... Okay. I took Sonata's gesture of appreciation, then returned to my room. I feel like my charm has improved after seeing how Sonata cares for his parents. Uh, my charm is maxed out, so... So my charm and courage are maxed out. I just need to get academics up. And then I don't have to do anything in the evenings for those. Summer break starts tomorrow. Prime time for a little beachside romance. You know, I bet other guys would kill to be in our shoes. After all, we're staying in the same dorm as three super cute girls. You think so too, right? Four. <laughs> but if you want to be more than friends, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Karijo Senpai is top of the class and student council president. You have to be an uber nerd for her to even give you the time of day. Yucatan's pretty prop popular too. You gotta be as style and she is to be a good match. Oh. Fuka is, well, soft spoken, kinda hard to grasp, so you might need to take the initiative with her, I guess. Oh, our social stats are. Like, you have to have certain social stats for different. So, like, Fuka, you need courage. Yuka, Tan, you need. Or Yukari, you need. Charm. Mitsuru, you need academics. Damn. Anyways, keep this hush hush between us, all right? All right, gotta focus on my academics now, then. I, uh, guess oh, this we'll guy started. again. Please take your seats. Solway at Coagula. Or Solway, rather. Your teacher has suddenly fallen ill, so I'll be feeling in today. Sick! On the last day before summer vacation, that just shows you why you have to take good care of your health. <laughs> this guy's wild. Anyway, I'll be giving you all a crash course on alchemy, a branch of magic focused on, among other things, generating wealth. Ooh, I like the sound of that, do you? Of course, who among us would turn down free money? It's human nature to want what one lacks. There's no escaping it. So despite the lesson imparted to us by King Midas, humans have long sought a way to create precious metals for themselves. However, the alchemists of old were not so arrogant as to believe they could create gold by touching anything they pleased. Rather, they sought a process that allowed them to convert cheaper metals, such as iron or copper, into more lucrative ones. This goal is the pinnacle of alchemy given form, the Philosopher's Stone. Regardless of their incentive or their success, there is no denying that alchemists have made uh, significant impacts in world history. The roots of alchemy originate in Hel Hellenistic Egypt, with the city of Alexandria at its center. The Alexandrian lighthouse is on the island of Pothos, who is the boy that we keep meeting. I wonder if it's all connected. Is this Full Metal Alchemist? As the Western Roman Empire fell, alchemy thrived in Arabia. Many of the Arabic 
alchemical text written at the time have survived to this day. The earliest English translations of these texts brought the practice to medieval Europe, where alchemists gained both power and infamy. Also of note, there is a fascinating branch of Chinese alchemy called Wydon. These practitioners saw a working formula for an elixir of immortality, though, rather than a recipe for gold. At any rate, the most important substance in the practice of alchemy is mercury, or quicksilver. It was thought that mercury could be used to form the Philosopher's Stone, which would in turn allow alchemists to generate gold. Alchemists endlessly toiled in their research, using all sorts of equipment and experimental approaches. Modern chemistry would not exist as we know it today. Unfortunately, there's no definitive proof that a Philosopher's Stone was ever successfully created. In a way, it's one of the greatest tragedies of human history. Moving on, alchemy has also been very influential in the field of psychology. Carl Jung, among others, recognized a kinship between alchemists and psychologists, believed that psychotherapy could refine a mind to a sharper, uh, stronger, healthier state, not unlike how the Philosopher's Stone was said. What? I'm feeling sleepy, dude. Me too. Which is why I think it's such a shame that mainstream society has given up on alchemy. Young adults ought to strive for unusual goals. It offers the best chance to lead exciting lives. Now that you're caught up on MHA, you can start FMA. Uh, I think it's on Hulu, actually. Brotherhood. He just keeps... Dude, this guy's wild. He's the school nurse, but also teaches magic? I don't know. From the perspective of our ancestors, modern science may as well be alchemy or magic. If you work hard enough, you may very well discover your own form of magic. Well, that's it for now. Enjoy your summer, everyone. I'm a little worried about the fact that it's summer, though. I wanted to... I wanted to boost social links with people that I feel like are only available at school. Hey, you have a minute? It's about the track team. Since you just transferred, you probably haven't heard about the Mioho Cup, right? Well, let me tell you. On August 2nd, there's a major competition for track and field. There's this guy named Hayase. Total speed demon. We can't let him trounce us this year. Okay. Got high hopes for you, so get ready to train hard. I'm gonna need you to show up from July 27th to August 1st. Don't go skipping school now. Got a special training regimen in mind for you. ISA won't stand a chance. Wait. on August 2nd. Let's do this thing. I thought this is summer break. Today marks the end of the first term. Summer break begins tomorrow, but not for me. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, does everybody have social links? Oh, shit. I should have known with Fuka. I was like, that's weird that Fuka has a social link. Shihiro. Oh, Yuko. Oh, she's only three? She's strength, right? I think we should talk to Yuko. It's been a long time since we have, right? Pretty sure. Exams are finally over. Congrats on surviving. Now we have time to do whatever we want to do. Oh, hey, are you free today? We were interrupted last time. So if you're down, want to try hanging out again? Yeah. Yeah, I, we haven't hung out with her in a while. So I think that's good, especially if they're talking about there's some some track and field thing and she's the manager of the team so oh, yeah have you been training to strengthen your core it's a good idea if you want to shorten your run time you're less likely to injure yourself too i was talking with cause about putting it in the first year's practice routine actually she has the hots for us do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe i'm a little hungry Ow. <laughs> what you again You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me. But what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. Well, we can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. You want me to beat them up? They said they'll move if we can beat them in a race. But we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. You want me to do it? I had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. 
don't let the anti slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. I'm up, I'm up, beat him up. This field is so big. Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to. And if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? This is we cute. Promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Kid reminds me of, uh... Titus and Ten when he's a kid. The voice acting. You need to pump your arms more and don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. I don't know how to run because I don't know what pump your arms means to do with running. Wow, Henshon, you're so fast. Hey, big sis, you should be our coach. A real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? I, I why not give it a go? Run like Naruto. Is that you pumping your arms? Please. Hmm. Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. That's cute. on you guys and no one's allowed to quit halfway either got it got it coach you go me whenever somebody plays monopoly hey, with me is he gonna teach us too you're not allowed to quit friend, coach? <gasps> never you mind about that now everyone line up i said i wouldn't go easy on you didn't i yuko began passionately instructing each child think positive if you think you're gonna lose you will don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders yeah, you can take them. Okay. I watched Yuko as she coached the kids. Eventually, they all went home. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, cute. I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I just realized I guess has the same right? bow on <laughs> Please? as the Honestly, I don't think school I uniform. It on my own. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy, too. Thanks. Our relationship has grown. So now she's rank four. She was really, I didn't realize that she was that low. I maybe should have been focusing on her a little bit more. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. Left school with Yuko and returned to the dorm. All right, and then. Oh. Dude, he's been sitting there for days. Good evening. I'm pleased to see that you're well. Your pills. I noticed once again that a new ally has been added to the ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. Dang, I forgot what his name was. Terribly lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <laughs> it is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Dude, I really like his shoes, though. The guy with the revolver in his crotch area. I mean, it's pointed away. It'll be fine. What 
What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know, you're really starting to piss me off, nosy little shit. Yeah, well, they're going down. You hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you. I'm done with them. I don't think he is. I think he's going to join us too. Like this little kid. Um. My name is Kinamata. I'll be staying here for a while. I'll try not to be a pother, so please don't mind me. I, I still think this little child is way too young to join our team fighting, but... Wait, is he in our... Okay, I was like, wait, did, is that how they... Data regarding the newest resident, Kenamada-san, has been logged. I am able to communicate with him at any time. Please leave it to me. Okay. Can I help you? I think a kun would get upset if he heard me say this, but don't you think he's kind of adorable? Isn't he kind of precautious? That's what's so great about him. It's kind of like having a little brother. He'll be staying at the dorm, but remember, he's not a member of C's. Okay, so be very careful what you say around him. And don't talk about with him about anything regarding shadows. All right, that is better. Just one little kid stuck living with a bunch of high schoolers. I suppose it's not the worst thing to happen. Try to make an effort being nice to the kid. It's just weird to me to... But, like, if he's not going to fight with us, then okay, that makes sense. You don't think a Madakun is going to end up getting involved in all this, do you? Uh, it's possible. Yeah. I guess you're right. Akutsuki san did say that he was has the potential. Did I platinum rebirth? Not yet. Uh, Amada, huh? And he's still in elementary school? Man, that's young. I don't know what it is about that kid, but my Junpei senses are going crazy around him. Either he's a little punk, or he's way more mature than I am. I don't know, man. Is it just me? Yeah, he's probably a little bit more mature than you are. Hello, Missile Dine. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Kinamata. That's Ken, written with the character for Dry. I just moved into the dorm. I'll be staying here for the summer. Hmm. Uh, it's Saturday, so... Yeah. Should you go pirate searching and side quests? Uh, I think so. I mean, the th so you're in chapter 13. When you finish the game, you have, it unlocks like a, a bunch of stuff that wasn't there beforehand. So like, you don't have to yet. You're in chapter seven. Yeah, I know, I remember. Yeah, so I would say probably just finish and then do stuff. Uh, I wanted to check my personas. You 100 percent in chapter 1 to chapter 6. Nice. Alright, I do have Devil still. I have Lilum, so I think I will do that then. We'll go talk to Tanaka. <laughs> I like this human. Thunders, thank you for gifting a sub to your Lita Adelita. Thank you, thank you. Thought that was funny. Hojo. Oh, All right, Tanaka. Are you here for another life lesson? As per usual, be free of charge. I think I think we should do that. You're quite the honest young man. I'll give you that. So he's going to like rank so, uh, five. Today we'll talk about. Uh, I just can't concentrate. I get so worked up when I picture his face. Whose face, dude? One of my employees. Maybe I should have seen it coming. There was a young man who was working for me. A hard worker, graduated from a distinguished private university. But this month he couldn't meet his sales quota. So I docked his pay. Self-confidence went down the drain. Then just stopped coming to work. What happened to him? He's probably cooped up in his home or something now. None of my business. I just mailed him a letter of termination. COD. 
It's his fault the company's in the red this month. I've wasted so many resources. All those expenses for training, hardware, facilities, labor costs. Oh, it makes me sick just thinking about the net losses. Ugh. What do I say? It's all about the money? Of course it is. I love money. Money will betray you like he did. It's difficult growing up with no money. Now that you pointed out the cyber sleuth compare, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's. I think that's why like the ge this game feels kind of comfortable to play is because I already have experience with cyber sleuth, which is a good. It's good. Hojo getting some R and R. Yep. You can't even afford shoes for gym class, you know. Barefoot in the winter is torture. I've been thinking. How would you like to model exclusively for my company? Your innocent appearance would be a perfect camouflage for the ugly realities of business. Think about it, will you? Join me, and you'll never have to worry about being shoeless in PE. Huh. Huh. Hello, hello, Gekuga? Gekuga? Welcome to the stream. Oh, better get going. Oh, we're short staffed now, so I'll have to reevaluate the budget for next month. If I decide to hire someone new, their training is going to cost a fortune. How are the police not involved yet? It's getting late, so I'll go back to the dorm. Wait, what rank was he? Summer vacation starts today. Got a few messages. Chiro, Bebe. How are the police not involved? I want to know what Tanaka's story is. I think that was rank, was that rank five or four? Rank five. Okay. Do 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 do. It's amazing. Tanaka's amazing commodities. Part two of the designer brand set. The brand wallet. Perfume. All right, we need those because those are probably going to end up being requests from Elizabeth. I think that's the way some of those. I don't know if all thanks gift items are that, kid. but that's it for today. We're yeah. all sold out. I love how he says thanks, kid, as if like he knows it was us. Uh, choo -choo -choo. What's up, Ken? Um. I guess Son is a robot, right? You really can't tell whenever she wears clothes. The Kirijo group must be super powerful to have invented a robot like her. Yeah, you don't think it's weird, though? Right, so we have Maya. Mm. There's somebody to talk to here as well. I'm wondering if we should talk to... Uh, maybe Moon Kid? Our kids are off on their summer vacation. I'm exhausted from making their meals every day. One of the women in my neighborhood says she pre-cooks massive amounts of udon. Then she rotates between sesame dressing, ponzu, and shredded daikon, so it always tastes differently. Okay. I like this guy, too. There's some scary shenanigans going on over these intertubes these days. How about that? Pretty in the know for an old guy. Yeah, I think, I think maybe talk to this guy? It's been a little while since we did. Could you hear me out? My stomach is crying in sorrow. Uh, yeah. I'm not here to eat today. I'm here because I wanted to talk to you. So the last time we saw him, he talked about going to paradise together. So well lately, you know, and it's all because of your blasphemy. I beg so hard for your soul that I think I actually lost weight. Look at me. I'm paper thin now. 
Forgot to tell you how driver's course evolved. You get it now? There are a few weird vehicles, apparently. You have to learn how to drive. Oh, it actually, like, had a reason for it? All you have left is the Johnny side quest and the gym one in Chapter 7. Nice, you're almost done! Well, you know, ish. Three-wheelers and weird cars. Why a three-wheeler? I don't know what to say to him. I'm gonna say you're not. Damn straight! I could down a ham katsu in my sleep if I really wanted to. I get what you're trying to say. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, right? What? I'm not like my little brother. I'm not smart or athletic, and I have weird stubby legs. And my pants are covered with food stains. I'm just a thorn in everyone's side. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. All they do is make fun of me. I just want this whole world to disappear. Stop picking. I wasn't the picking on him. Can't end yet. Not until I save you first. Look, I can try harder. I just need to make it to paradise. That should solve all my problems. I'll be taller and more slender, and my body will glow. So I'll be safer at night. See? Then I won't be inferior to my brother. Then you won't hate being seen with me. So please, don't abandon me. Uh, uh, this kid needs, we need, we need, we need to help the rank eight. I have to go, so I don't have time to eat today. I haven't earned forgiveness just yet. And I have to find a new member to recruit soon. You have to find a new member. Oh, it's like the cult. Okay. That was him just now. So can handle it. Yeah, all I gotta do is rough him up and I get paid. You know, I've got this buddy who's kind of strapped for cash too, if you catch my drift. Fine, you both get paid. Just make sure you finish the job. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, it's you. That you came over to say have that conversation next to me. 132,000 yen, right? That's the same trick he used on my son. If you know what's good for you, I'd stay the hell away from him. What? That's... Jeez. I want to know where that story's going, though. Oh, welcome back. Come to think of it, have you heard about B Blue V? It's the shop in Pol Pol Polonia Mall. There's a rumor that you can talk to spirits there. Uh, Fuka's on the second floor? If you'd like to go to Tartarus. Don't want to go to Tartarus, yes. That's it? It's not that much. Oh, it's, it's Mitsuru that has... Okay. Oh, she was just telling us that in case we want to go to Tartarus. If this country falls apart, what will happen then? Would a war or something break out? I probably shouldn't think too hard on this. I mean, we're fighting to prevent that from happening. Yeah. A country is made up of its people, so if the number of the lost keeps growing, then the whole country will eventually collapse. There's so much riding on our shoulders. Wait, seriously? Damn, I never thought of that. If that happens, how will I shop at the convenience store? I guess that concept is too big for your brain to comprehend. You're an idiot, you know that? Oh, she's being so mean. Have a Conducted a simulation to predict the outcome. First of all, the lost are a strain on society since they drain resources but are unable to contribute anything. These individuals will also require caretakers, increasing strain on the workforce and other areas of society. With fewer and fewer people working, society's growth will plummet. Eventually, this country will no longer be able to sustain itself. The end, as people say. Dang. I think maybe we just talked to Mitsuru? Mm -hmm. Would you like to read a book? Then shall we read together? You could choose a book from here. Yeah, we should do that. Academics. In that case. And also Mitsuru. Do you ever feel encouraged reading about the influential you know I mean. figures of the past? 
Even leaders who forged great nations faced the challenges of interpersonal relationships. I feel that. Yes. It becomes easier to bear when you consider it something everyone has to go through. Or is it presumptuous of me to relate to such illustrious figures? Sorry, I didn't mean to distract from our reading. Shall we get back to it? Oh, look at the time. I think that's enough for today. That was a pleasant time together, hearing nothing but the sound of each other's pages. <laughs> I Wait, the way she worded that was like, it kind of felt backhanded a little bit. Rank five? Your Want a social link, right? Sometime. But for now, good night. Good night, Mitsuru. You know, if you want to come cuddle, you can. It's okay. I'm a good cuddler. I just love the... I had a really nice time only hearing our, our pages. Like, not you. Special training for track and field begins today. It's about time to leave. Deku-Kan High School Practice Field. We trained all day to prepare for the competition on August 2nd. Hey, no slacking. Put your heart into it. You'll never beat high as they with that attitude. Uh, so there's nothing I can actually do here, though, is what it looks like. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Oh, uh, that's right. Didn't you have club today? How'd it go? Uh, no sweat. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're tougher than I thought. Hey, if you think you can handle it, let's go to Tartarus tonight. It's a little less than two weeks to the full moon, so I kind of want to hit the bullpen. I don't because I want to wait to see if people are abducted. What you love at the end of chapter four was the five troopers with Cloud. Nice. Yeah, Rebirth's great. I wonder if the next shadow will be even stronger. Maybe they'll be drained and weak because of the summer heat. Nah, not happening. Yeah, probably not. We could hang out with Mitsuru again. I guess has something. Wakatsu's got stuff. Kind of thinking we hang out with... Kind of thinking we hang out with Mitsuru again then, you know? Potentially. Hey to pee. Never got used to the school pool. I wish we had a school pool. I would have liked PE then. Give me one sec, friends. All right, I'll see you games and movies. No, you hate being distracted away. Oh, I don't. They just released the trailer for the Final Fantasy 14, 16 crossover event. Oh, there's a trailer for it? Oh, that's dope. Yes. Oh, I can't wait. That event is gonna be, that's gonna be so cool. Do you have some time to spare? The company heads gifted me some quality tea leaves. I'd be happy to serve you a cup. In order to better appreciate the tea blend, it's better to brew enough for two, you see. Do we get... Because we're not reading together, so does my academics go up if I do that? It's Monday, so I don't think they have the game. to the snacks as well if you'd like you put that on for tea reading and tea i know i Today, mitsuru I i'm telling you my thanks for your hard work as well as check in to see how you're doing ever since you joined us you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group Shobi, yeah unicorn overlord looks amazing uh i originally planned on playing it on release but we were doing a tipathon for uh final fantasy 7 rebirth so i didn't get a chance but it's on my list. I want to play it. I hear it's very, very good. Hair up, looking yum. Yeah. Yeah, Mitsuru, Mitsuru, yeah. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. A little, I guess. I apologize for putting so much pressure on you. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to say, 
I am grateful that you agreed to take on the leadership role. And I want you to know that you're doing an excellent job. Thank you. Akihiko was right about you. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. Mitsuru and I enjoyed tea together. It's late. I don't think I'm gonna end up getting anything here. Let's turn in for the night. But yeah, everyone who has played it says it's really, really, really good. Christian, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Nerd Herd. Make her see exact yeah, right. Lux 19. Oh, I'll take care of the cleanup. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. Good night, Mitsuru. So we got to go back to school, but we can't do anything because it, it takes all day, which I wasn't expecting them to do that. I think it's fine, but my body feels light, but my time wasn't that good. See, so we can't do anything during the day and it just goes right back to evening. Oh, good. My stuff. Brand wallet and perfume. Apathy syndrome is on the rise again. People seem to have calmed down a bit despite the media, but there will be serious problems if we don't end this. We must defeat the last six shadows, beginning with the one we anticipate on the next full moon. If the number of the lost continues to increase, the city will fall into chaos. You're, you're just exaggerating, right? Then again, maybe not. Aw, Junpei. We've been very busy this month. As a result, I'm not sure that we've been going to Tartarus often enough. Please make sure you're prepared for the next full moon. I literally haven't gone at all yet, but I'm waiting for people to get abducted. I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but when you've got a little kid staring at you, it can be kind of awkward. What are you doing? Sonata-san, you always wear those gloves when you fight, right? I hear that once you put them on, you're undefeatable. Yeah, it's no big deal, really. Ken's gonna think Akihiko's so cool. Can I help you? You know the incident that occurred because of the Kurijo group's experiments? They said it happened because they were trying to collect shadows. Doesn't that mean shadows existed before Tartarus in the Dark Hour? Yeah. How long have shadows been around then? Right, that that's what I don't get. A city in chaos, huh? Sounds like something out of a movie. What's real scary is that it can totally happen. We're the only ones who can do anything about it. That reminds me of that movie, uh, Shoot. I forgot what it's called now, but... If I, may speak. I will fight with guns during battle. However, I'm not heavily equipped, and my damage output and accuracy are both average. On the flip side, I could say that I am quite stable. I'd be a good recommendation for beginners. Uh... Oh, uh... Shoot. I could talk to Yukari, or I could talk to Tanaka. Yeah, I think we talked to Tanaka. Yeah, yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. Just the other day, my high school organized a class reunion. Sounds fun. How many months in you get someone good for beginners? I don't know what she means by that. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I had a splendid time. I laughed just thinking about it. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still in high school, but a class reunion is a very important event. Oh. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone how pathetic their lives turned out. Except for like Tanaka. Who made fun of me for eating plain rice. Or the ingrate who threw my holy socks in the trash. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's interesting. So he used to be like super poor growing up. And now. Oh. Now they both look at me with envy. What they make in a year, I make in a month. My business is doing great. And I'd say I have a satisfying private life as well. Do you? 
Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. President Tanaka is opening up to me. Is that rank six? Okay, that's I'm now I'm a little intrigued by what they end up doing with oh, with him. Remember that forty thousand yen you gave me? I'd say you've gotten your money's worth at this point. My time is worth at least a hundred thousand yen per hour, you know. Just think of all the free advice I've given you. You can thank me later. Like, have you actually? Like, he he grew up super poor, and now lives. Like uh, the complete opposite of that. Uh, like that kind of makes sense. Special training for track and field continues. Oh, geez. Oh, right. It'll do it every day until the second, I think. It's almost August. You're almost there. Keep up the pace. This is our year. Hayase has got nothing on us. I wonder if Hayase is going to end up being a social link. Welcome back. How was your day? The others aren't back yet. Kurijo Senpai said they'd be here by midnight. Maybe we shouldn't go to Tartarus today. All right. So they're telling us we literally can't go today. Hey. Amada really respects Sonata san. I totally understand how he feels. Dude, Sonata-san won 16 boxing matches straight. If I look up to the guy, then kids must think he's an actual hero, you know? I agree. Hey, you think we got what it takes to be heroes? Seems impossible. My hero! As I said earlier, we shouldn't go to Tartarus today. I know you want to go because there's going to be a full moon soon, but it'd be better not to. I guess? I want you to be aware of my strengths and weaknesses. I am weak against electric attacks, but second to none when it comes to gun attacks. I will riddle any kind of enemy with bullet holes. Hey. It's hard to describe how, but have you noticed that Sonata Senpai acts a little different around Amadakun? Amadakun? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe he doesn't get along with kids. He just seem a bit socially awkward. Uh... Wednesday could eat food. I think they have that academics game though in the mall at this point, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Academics rank five. Damn. Uh-oh. Sorry to wake you. Fuka. I'm detecting a shadow. Please come to the fourth floor quickly. What? What's going on? There's a shadow in the city. Yamagishi found it unexpectedly. What? But the moon isn't full yet. It seems to be just a regular shadow. But there usually isn't any normal shadow activity outside of Tartarus. It's near Naganaki Shrine. Akihiko was already in the area, so he went ahead. I'm sure he can handle it alone, but we should be ready just in case. Gotcha. Yes, this is Yamagishi. What does that mean? I'm here. Sorry, but I think you guys better come quick. What's wrong? Are you in trouble? No. The shadow's been defeated. Or rather, it was already defeated when I got here. What happened? This little fella took a hit for me. I want to save him if we can. Took a hit? Who's he talking about? Don't ask me. Is he talking about Kor the dog? Kor Koromaru? Wait. Cause that dog hung out. <gasps> oh no! No! Don't you do it! No way! Did they introduce this dog just so they don't you fucking don't kill it? Yeah, everyone around. 
down here does. We've got to help him, quick! First, we need to stop the bleeding. Man, he's one tough fighter. He defeated that shadow all by himself. Wait, does that mean... This dog's a Persona user? No fucking way. He says, this is a place of peace, so I protected it. There you, are flowers over there. You speak dog? Those flowers? They must be for the priest who died in the accident here. So he really was guarding this place. Okay, hold on. I guess, don't tell me you can translate dog language too. Canines do not have their own language. However, speech is not the only means of communication. Do you hear that, Dars? This fellow really is a rare breed. Correct. He's not the only one. All right, let's report to the chairman so we can conclude this mission. And After save the dog. Night, it's midnight, but I think I can arrange something. Good job, boy. You're one amazing dog. Yo, does this dog join us? Are you kidding me? Best game ever if we get if we get a persona using teammate that's a dog. Back to track and field though. Wait, I want to know more about the dog. Wow, that was a great lap. Thank Keep you. Might be able to win the whole thing. Uh, I want to know more about Koromaru. Koromaru? Is that its name? His I'm name? What's up, dude? One more week till the moon's full again. You seen how things look at Polonia Mall lately? The loss are really on the rise. I feel like it's really on us to do something. Let's wipe the floor with these shadows. Junpei, you're so cool. Puka's on the second floor. If we want to go to Tartarus, which we don't yet. I do not understand the canine language, but I can sense the emotions produced by such canines. I am able to receive similar images from all living things. Unfortunately, it seems humans have lost this ability to do so, since they ended up relying upon verbal communication. Dude, isn't our group getting kind of wacky? We got a persona using robot, and now there's a persona using dog? What's next, man? A gorilla with potential? <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Okay, just just checking. Hey. Korochan is so awesome. He was so brave that day. I don't know how he, I don't know how he was trained, but he's amazing. That's great. The veterinarian told me that Karamaru is in stable condition. The wound was severe, but fortunately there wasn't any damage to his internal organs. Darcy Karamaru is gonna be okay. I checked. Well done. As one tough customer, huh? He protected what he needed to. What a good little guy. Dude. Oh, she's got a... What are you doing? You want to continue re... Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Well, it'll help with academics, too. Yeah. All right. So the other day, I recommended the novel I'm reading to a classmate. I don't talk to her much, but at the time we were discussing a movie we'd both seen. Wasn't I guess wearing the same dress at one point? And turned me down, though. It was because the series looked hard to get into. There are so many volumes. It's about presentation. Presentation? You mean like talking in front of a group of people? Hmm, interesting. So, you think I should have slides or something to go with it? I could probably show them in a room with a projector or... Oh, wait, that's not what you meant, is it? No. Recommending something to someone is a really tricky thing, huh? Well, thank you anyways. I appreciate you showing interest in that book. Okay, I think I'll read a little further myself. I love that she's like a sci-fi nerd and is into machines, but can't doesn't want to say it because she feels like it's I finished the whole thing. not ladylike. All right, rank five academics. Damn. Time flies by so quickly. Let me know your thoughts on it next time. Well then, good night. Good night, Fuka. Yeah, because if we can get that for free, then. Oh, another dark hour thing. Yeah. 
Good evening. Uh oh. This kid still Things creeps are me really out. Really starting to liven up around here. So, how are you getting along with everyone? Uh, not bad. Oh, that's good to hear. Just to remind you, the next full moon will be in one week. Are you ready? I actually haven't been too worried about you lately, but you should still be careful. I'll see you again. I just like want to know what's going on with that story soon. Oh, no rank up either. Special training for track and field continues today. I like how we just got suckered into doing this. What if we didn't sign up for the club? Or I guess you have to. Tournament is the day after tomorrow. Hey, doesn't it seem like there's a lot more of the lost than before? There were quite a few in the city today. They were making my friend really anxious. Oh, when's the next moon again? Full moon again? Next week? We really have to bring our A game, don't we? Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be- Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta go do, do that. After I talk to people. I get my potatoes. I heard Korachan is going to be fine. That's such a relief. Do you think the priest who passed away protected him? Yeah. The bond between a person and their pet is truly wonderful. You hear that, Dars? Our bond is wonderful. Oh, that's right. Heard there's a dog that can use a persona. I've been researching the possibility for quite some time, but it's hard to believe it could really be true. I mean, can you imagine a dog using a persona? A dog! I'm petrified. <gasps> oh, you read my mind. You could be a formidable opponent. The dog is okay, in stable condition. You all stay up so late. I try to stay up as late as you guys, but I'm always the first one to fall asleep. What do you guys do so late at night? Adult activities, Ken. There you go, treating me like a kid again. You're not that much older than me, you know. So we could talk to Yukari, or they have the Wakatsu kitchen thing. And I need to get my academics up, so I think I think we just do that. Cause they have the yeah yeah. All right, that's gonna be rank five, right? Oh my god! Academics take so long compared to everything else, which I knew, but. All right, can't do anything during the day. Last day of special training, so tomorrow is the tournament. We'll see how we do. Gakukan High School practice field. We trained all day to prepare for the competition on August 2nd. Tomorrow's the big day. Whoa, you're doing great. Thank you. That's the fastest time on the team. Good luck tomorrow. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. I see you're back. Five days until the full moon. I hear you'll be in that competition tomorrow. You better do your best to win. Although there's guy, Hayase, who they say is supposed to crush the competition. Watch out for him. Oh yeah, I heard that name before. He's pretty famous, dude. I've seen him in sports magazines. What even what's even the point of trying to go up against guys like that? You'll just wear yourself out. Well, there's a full moon soon, so I guess you can look at it as training or something. Oh, I wonder if they'll do that. They'll, like, increase our... Uh, maybe Tanaka, though. Maybe we should talk to Tanaka. Coffee is best taken black. Don't you agree? Or do you drink it another way? I had milk and sugar. What? Really? I guess that doesn't taste so bad either. By the way, do you remember that shadow from the other day? I'm talking about the one Korachan defeated. Anyway, for some reason, it reminded me of something Kurijo Senpai said about how normal shadows don't usually appear outside Tartarus, but some irregular ones do. I guess they appeared sometimes back back when it was just our Senpais who were fighting them. Hmm. Leader. 
My persona can be likened to a shield and halberd. Not only am I skilled at attacking, I can also acquire various support abilities. I will be a valuable ally in the front lines of battle. I agree with that. Yeah, I think we're going to do... Because that'll take him to rank... Seven? Yeah. I do want to check with Maiko now, though. Hopefully that pops up soon. You notice anything different about me? Um. Yeah. Yeah, sort of. Ooh, so you can tell? Knew it. I had my hair revitalized. It doesn't look healthier now. It's quite a hassle, but appearances are a big part of the job in my line of work. That said, Same. I'm the total opposite at home. I dress like a slob and only shower every three days. Let me come up with an analogy. Hmm. Vegetables. Perfect. Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks all deformed. What? Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would rather stop? Oh. I see. <laughs> Wouldn't that be delightful? In an ideal world, they'd offer safe and delicious vegetables regardless of their appearance. But in reality, supermarkets line their shelves with the prettiest cucumbers they can find. So, why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? Simple. People trust what they see. The world is governed more by appearances than realities. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. I Wait, kinda... you know what I just said earlier? The part about me dressing like a slob and not showering every day. Don't you dare tell anyone. I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. I only admitted it to you personally. No one else has a clue, okay? I kind of I kind of get his story now and it's kind of neat. What's that girl doing? The one that's like sitting there holding she's a apathy syndrome person. So that's rank 7. So I think my highest now is Maya, Moon Kid and Tanaka. A soul. If you break your promise, well, I guess I can trust you. Uh, run along now. After parting ways with President Tanaka, I decided to return to the duom. All right, now it's tournament day. Which means I'll have daytime back after this. Let's see if I win. Do I win? Yeah, a lot of the NPCs that are standing around looking odd are uh, apathy syndrome folks. The time is upon us to demonstrate outstanding sportsmanship. May the best runner win. Hey, you're almost done. Poor Miyamoto. How are you feeling? Think you got this? Don't forget don't forget to cheer for me. Yeah. You got it. Leave the cheering to me. Oh yeah. Here, take this. It should help get you energized for the race. Special drink. Oh, I don't do drugs. Since this is your first big event. To win. Let me give you some advice. All you have to do is give it your all. Remember, mind over matter. Oh, great advice, dude. There yourself. Thanks, bud. All right, dude. Go show them what you're made of. Did we win? Are we winning? That was amazing. I can't believe it's your first time competing. On top of that, this was your fastest time yet. Man, you killed it. Looks like all your hard work paid off. 
Yeah. I'm a bummer though. Even with your incredible performance, that guy still won. Oh, what the? You mean Hayase, right? They say he blows everyone out of the water in every competition. I thought people were exaggerating. Jeez, he's insane. We sure use someone like him on our team. Ah, damn it! We'll get him next time for sure. I wonder if I could have won if like. Wait, isn't that him? Yo, you were pretty fast. Uh, not fast enough. Plenty enough to make me sweat a bit. Hey, I know this is weird all of a sudden, but would you want to hang out sometime? I think he's asking us out. Sure. Cool. Sounds good. You still need to work on your technique, but oh, got potential. Maybe you could help push me to test my limit. He's gonna be the star social link, isn't Usually he? Grab a bite to eat at the strip mall in Iwatodai after school. Stop by sometime if you feel like it. The name's Mamoru Hayase. Well, I'll see you around. Yeah, because I don't think we've unlocked the star social link at all yet. Wow. Hayase must really see you as a worthy rival. There's another one too that I'm missing. See him again? Tell him this. Next time I'll kick your ass! <laughs> Sure. Calm down, Paws. By the way, wasn't that Nimura guy from Third High supposed to be pretty good too? He never showed. Yeah, I was talking to some of the guys from his school. Apparently, they couldn't get a hold of him. They even went out to check his house, but he wasn't there. So he's gone missing. Did he run away from home? Maybe he was afraid of going up against Hayase. Or wait, do you think it's because of that apathy syndrome thing? Oh, I guess that's going to be tied to this next. No idea. Shadow that we fight soon in one piece. Yeah. Anyway, uh, now's not the time to get down in the dumps. Our school did great today, after all. Good job out there. Thanks. All right, let's get out of here. Trip a trip, brown cow. All right, Sunday. You. Heard from Akihiko that you did well. Too bad I didn't win. Regardless, I'm impressed with your ability to balance so many aspects of your life successfully. Yeah, that's amazing. You should give yourself some more credit. If nothing else, you're at least doing something, unlike someone else I know. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sticks and stones can break my... Oh, whatever. Anyways, it's almost a full moon, right? That's something I can do. Uh, the mission, I mean. Not the full moon. Next full moon is August 6th. That's Thursday. It's likely that the enemy will be stronger than the last ones. Make sure you're ready. I wonder what... Like tarot thing it's going to be. Wakatsu has the thing again. Winning tournaments is cool and all, yeah, but now it's time for the real battle. And for us, losing ain't an option. Get ready for some action. What game are you playing? Can't tell. Looks like a fighting game. Good to see you. Heard you're done with the competition. You must be tired, right? Maybe we shouldn't go to Tartarus then. Oh. What if I want to go to Tartarus? Excellent. Mastery of both academic obligations and combat is no mean feat, and yet you continue to deliver. Keep up the good work. I just need to get my academics up. Excellent. Oops, didn't mean to talk to you again. Good job. Placing in the top rank of a club that you just started. Well done. Wish we could go take on some full moon shadows while you're still in the zone. Hello, Yukari. Jeez. Shunpei should really join a school club or something. He looks so bored every day. He would probably have fun on some sports team. He always has so much energy. I could talk to Igis. Uh, but I think I want to focus... I think I want to get my, um... Academics up. I've got to be close to rank 5. And they have the thing. Rank 5, rank 5, rank 5. God damn! That's crazy. The difference between... Academics and the other social stats is wild. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. Uh oh. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. We're going to Tartarus! Finally, Tartarus time. <laughs> I was getting a little nervous. I was like, are we going to even go to Tartarus before the before the thing starts? 
Oh, we... Okay, hang on. Um... Okay, cool. So we can go... We can go talk to Maiko now, I believe. There you go, Psionic. We can check in. Oh, what are you doing? Who are you? These incidents all started with that god and the shrine's curse. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? That sounds cool. You're funny. But that's very open-minded of you. I'm impressed. Thank you. All right, Maiko, for sure. I was waiting for you. Is it okay if we talk? So she didn't run away. Or if she did, she's already back. Thank you for always helping me. Oh shit, never mind. But I gotta say bye for now. Yep. I have to run away now. Remember not to tell mom and dad, okay? Bye bye. Do we even know who her parents are? Oh, yep, them. Hey, you. Have you seen a little girl? She's in elementary school. You just take a second and calm down. Calm down? What if something happens to her? Oh, please. This is what happens when you force a child to study nonstop. Why are you always like this? Everything has to be my fault. Oh, that's because it is your fault. This never would have happened if you'd been watching her. <laughs> Look, we I was like, why don't they have a dialogue box for that? I know who you are. You're the one, right? Maiko's told me about you. She said she played with a high school kid instead of practicing piano. <laughs> what? This is the first I'm hearing of that. That should be a parrot and hearing that. To my daughter? The woman is extremely agitated. Shut up! Stop jumping to stupid conclusions. I'm sorry about this. We're Maiko's parents. We haven't seen her since this morning. When we checked her room, we found a note that said, I'm running away. She's never done anything like this before. It's probably your fault. Uh, it's probably your fault. I'm saying it. Excuse me. You don't know anything. Mike, oh, why? Listen, if you have any idea where she is, I'm begging you to tell us. She actually didn't tell us. Uh, oh, maybe the takoyaki stand. Yeah, she likes that. Stand? Oh, that place. Right. Let's try looking. I don't remember seeing her in the music store at all. There she is. Mom. Dad. And you too? Well, I. Uh, I. Michael, are you okay? The NPC working the anywhere? stand looks terrifying for some I'm reason. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, why would you do such a thing? I was worried sick. Do you think that's funny, giving me a heart attack like that? Hey, that's enough. You made me worry, too. I was so scared. You said you were getting a divorce, and, and I didn't know what to do. So that's what this is all about. We're really sorry, Maiko. Why don't we go home and talk about it? It's awful we pulled you into this. I'm not sure what else to say. Hey, I told you to keep it a secret. I'm but... Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Maiko seems relieved to see that her parents care about her. I feel like we're growing closer. Nice. I decided to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. What time is it? 120? Full moon on Thursday. I'm sure some kind of shadow will show up. It's coming up quickly, so please make sure. Yeah, we have to go to Tartarus. 
Which we have to anyways, because there's missing people there now. Something you should know regarding my persona. It seems my persona excels in endurance. Basic attacks will do nothing against me. In other words, I am a tough guy. <laughs> okay. Can I help you? Last month's operation didn't go so smoothly because the enemies were behaving erratically, so I'm doing some visualization training and exercises to ensure that doesn't happen again. Junpei is in quite high spirits, huh? Maybe he just doesn't want to lose to Koromaru. Well, I certainly understand that feeling. I don't like the idea of some dog swooping in and hogging all the glory. I'll join you. I want to go wild tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, we don't have, like, okay. So I think... All right, I think we do... So I go to Club Escapade, we grab the fortune. Right? This guy has something for us. Oh, we can buy gems here. Oh, now we really need money. Okay. Huh. It's like, did anything else change? This guy might have something. Secure a note with a URL of a site featuring videos on taking down enemies. I'll buy that. Why not? Are you hitting on me? Sorry, the answer is no. A guy like you must already have a girlfriend, and I'd hate to get in her way. Uh, sure. I heard it's almost time for the summer festival. I don't have anyone to go with. Oh, well, I'll find someone. I'm in a club for that exact reason. I lost a ring in my room, and the other fortune teller couldn't find it, but when I asked Mama, she told me where it was on the first try. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so... We want, uh, rarity? No, it's, we want this one, turning into strong. Is it the gamble fortune or rarity fortune? I think it's rarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. And then... I guess we're gonna go to Tartarus? I just wanna check to see... We have two missing people. Nimura. Oh, that's the kid! Yeah, yeah, that's the kid that they told us about in Mirabayashi. We have two days to find them. They were just reported missing. And sense that the power growing within you, and we get Twilight Fragments. Here are my requests. Shoot. So, I need to figure out Very then. Well. I need to figure out what, if I want to synthesize anything before going to Tartarus. Uh-oh. 